And I thought Adobe was supposed to be one of these companies that was threatened by AI, that AI could replace. Instead, they're using it. What exactly went, out, went on? Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, it's uh, a company that investors are really struggling to kind of uh, put in the right bucket. You know, I think going into the results, as you say, people were very worried that uh, we were going to hear them talk about a commentary that was showing that pressure we we're talking about from generative AI tools that lots of other you know, companies haven't heard of a year ago uh, are now developing. But I think you know, they're being, they've done a very good job, Fireflies, their kind of generative AI engine, if you like, integrating that into their suite of creative um, products, things like Photoshop, uh, and that's um, landing really well with, I'd say, professional um, users of these products. So I think obviously a lot of consumers are, are taking advantage of, advantage of things like Midjourney, which are free to kind of get more creative, but professionals are still trusting people like Adobe to deliver what they need. And that's to some degree because of these issues around um, Copyright and you know, um, the, the Adobe systems, certainly for the image generation, are trained uh, on a, a kind of copyright safe, if you like, environment. Um, and that's giving confidence to business users uh, that they're not going to suddenly land in some kind of legal issues further down the line. So, you know, the products are developing, um, are landing well, they're really taking advantage of their own investments in generative AI. Uh, but even I think in the consumer space, um, uh, they showed signs just or overnight that actually they're getting some traction against some of those newer competitors. So yeah, I think this was definitely a surprise uh, to the market in terms of the positive and upbeat commentary uh, that, that, that the company provided.